For many, nothing's quite so much fun as taking on a big roller coaster. But for some younger children, the prospect of taking a steep ride can be frightening. Many parents wonder about the right age to let a child on the bigger rides or what to do about unnatural fears. Donald Friedheim is a professor of psychology at Case Western Reserve University. Some children are able to, to take some of those daring rides and have no problem with them at all. And some children, even into teenage, are very good, either physically ill or psychologically very upset if they're going to be on a ride that, that is scary. There are um, rides that are less dangerous and less exciting than some of the bigger ones. And they've got to start with the smaller ones. And if a child's reacting negatively, fearfully, or crying, they should not try to, uh, you know, force the child to, to go on a more daring ride, but go along with the instincts that the child shows. Older brothers and sisters and friends often make going on the bigger rides a badge of courage and pressure the younger child into feeling he or she must go on the ride before being acknowledged as grown up. It shouldn't be made as any great feat to go on these. And parents can help by uh, sort of toning that down. And if the children start within the family or among friends to say, you know, you're not really a real person, a real man, unless you can go on the, the highest roller coaster, they ought to very much put a stop to that. Friedheim says peer pressure is bound to occur anyway, but parents should be alert to the situation and not add to it. This is Tom Shrout reporting from Case Western Reserve University, Cleveland.